question relates to again the formation of a carbocation involving the dehydration of an alcohol. An alcohol under the influence of an acid will undergo dehydration that is the loss of water from the molecule of an alcohol. The principle involved in this reaction is OH is a very poor leaving group. Whenever it is treated with an acid, OH gets protonated. Therefore, the first product of protonation will be like uh, this will be CH2, CH, OH2 plus CH3, this will be formed. So, that this becomes a very good leaving group, this bond breaks and it neutralizes the positive charge resulting in a carbocation of this type CH3, CH, CH3, this CH2 until this part it is not affected, a positive charge is developed here and then it becomes a CH3. Now, in this case, we will find here that a CH3 is a, a positive charge is being formed here, a hydride shift occurs here, a 1 2 hydride shift occurs here, a 1 2 hydride. Now, a hydride can occur from the terminal carbon atom the CH3 or from this particular carbon atom. Actually, it occurs from this carbon atom because if this hydride shift occurs instead of a secondary carbocation, it leads a primary carbocation which is less favorable. Therefore, this hydride shift occurs there. So, when a what is meant by hydride shift? A hydrogen with a pair of electron moves over from this carbon to this carbon from here. It is from uh, this position, it uh, changes over to the other position. So, what will be the resulting structure? The resulting structure will be CH3, the same structure can be written there first and then from this one hydrogen has now migrated, one hydride has now migrated, so that this CH has become a CH2, CH3. So, this carbocation is formed in this. This carbocation now results in a carbocation can lose a proton now. There are two protons available adjacent to the carbocation. One is this proton that is available, it can be lost, or this proton can be lost. According to sides of rule, if this proton is lost, it will give rise to a less substituted olefin, whereas it should give on the basis of the sides of rule a more substituted olefin has to be got. That is the rule actually. Sides of rule says whenever a loss of a proton from an adjacent carbon occurs, a more substituted olefin is a favored product. Therefore, a more substituted olefin is to be got means this hydrogen has to be lost. So, what will be the product that is being obtained? I write the structure of the product here CH3, C CH3, this proton is lost. Therefore, I have a double bond, then we have a CH here, then CH2, CH3. So, this will be the product, ultimate product that is being got from the elimination of a proton. There are two beta protons available, one here as well as one here, but actually this is being removed, this is being eliminated, proton is being eliminated as a proton because uh, the reason being that uh, a double bond is formed, so that a more substituted double bond is obtained in this case.